And welcome back to Wake Up America. I'm Allison Maloney alongside our money man. I'm so excited to have you guys in studio. Uh, it's great to be here. Really comfortable. I don't. What's the what's the protocol <laughs> yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. Just, just hanging make out. Just at home. Just yeah. hanging out. Okay. Although yeah, you yeah, should yeah, probably yeah. be okay, in between things. Okay, can we just show? Huh? So I was How talking to I was talking to Dan the other day, and he's like, Allie, you got it. You got to see my shoes because we always just you know we do a remote, so I don't yeah. have a chance to see your shoes. And um, you promised bright shoes, so uh, we got some. Listen, yeah, it matches my tie. People in Malaysia this morning can see these shoes. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> thanks, Seth. Yeah, yeah. God doesn't know. It's stuff. bright. It's Smack bright. him in the face. Yeah, it's, well. It'll wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, guys. So, Denson and Dan Geltry for being here. We're gonna we're gonna talk some business. We're gonna run through some business headlines and get your reaction. Sure. Uh, U.S. stocks rising yesterday after better than expected third quarter earnings. The Dow ending its best weekly performance since June. So, uh, Seth, we were talking about this. It, it's just you know we have good weeks and bad weeks, right? It's a, yeah. a, a decent week. Well, it's it's a good week, and Dan and I were talking about this earlier. Five Finally, something that the market should react positively to. Earnings reports, right? Isn't this yeah. what the stock market's supposed to do? It's, it's all about earnings, not about emotion or tweets or anything like that. Right. I, I think what happens is, is the stock market actually gets away from fundamentals. Right. Yeah. What's, what, what, America's accountant here. It's about the numbers. Yeah. It's about the numbers, not yep. rumors. Yep. Good yeah. earnings, good earnings, good uh, stock market day. That's the way the market should work. Exactly. Uh, and then moving on. So Virgin Galactic stock down 20%. The company discovering potential issues with its spacecraft, possible commercial tourism delays. I mean, everybody wants to go in space, but does this surprise you at all? You know, I don't understand really how they think that everybody's going to go to space on vacation with the with the way inflation is going. What's it going to cost? Ten million per person to Elizabeth, go? I, I, yeah, I can't even afford to go to Starbucks anymore. But nonetheless, <laughs> no. I think that here's the thing, and I, this is the disconnect with all of this, right? Is we were just talking about this too. It's it was great to see Captain Kirk go into space. But the other folks that were there spent $250,000, and I think Jeff Bezos lost money on that. So this is a very elite group of people mm. uh, and limited subset that are going to be able to ever do this. I'm not surprised. Well, I think when, when um, Richard Branson has said, you know, eventually, you know, we'll have everyone be able to go in space. Like, what is that? I mean, eventually, I mean, a couple hundred thousand dollars, nobody really For has. For four minutes? Right. I mean, money. Uh, like yeah, that. I don't really wish I had that much to spare. I, I just don't think it's really feasible, yeah. at least in the short term. Yeah. All right. Well, um, if you're hungry, let's talk about Domino's. They're delivering its first drop in more than a decade. The world's largest pizza chain being impacted by a shortage of drivers. Now, you know, this is nothing new. A slowdown in demand, but shortage of workers. I mean, pretty much across the country. But, uh, Seth, we were talking about this. Like, during the pandemic, everybody ordered Domino's. Everybody ordered pizza. Yeah, I think, listen, I, I, everybody knows I love Domino's pizza. And we, we can have that debate, too. But I do. I love Domino's pizza. But... I had a lot of it over the last 18 months, and and their sales are up significantly. I mean, they, they did very, very well during the pandemic, thank goodness. Uh, so I think this is a natural progression of where their sales are dipping a little bit, so maybe the numbers are reflecting that. Well, well listen, as far as being short on drivers, is that anything new? Of right. course, that's across the board, and I got to tell you, back in college, they had that 30 minutes delivered oh, or right. free. What we used to do, we used to lock the door <laughs> doors and we made, and listen, poor couch, I'm sorry, Domino's, I probably heard earnings, but uh, that's what we did. We so needed, you, you probably did earnings, actually, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, you know we're going to keep on the food topic. I, I'm sure you guys all love McDonald's, but so they're doing this thing that we're seeing across the board. They're testing this plant-based market uh, starting November 3rd. Eight restaurants will offer the MC Plant Burger, McPlant Burger. I guess that's what they call it. Vegans, listen up. There is cheese and mayo in it, so it's not really, really vegan. Uh, what do you guys? I mean, you're from Texas. Right, we just listen. we had steak last night, so we I'm did. assuming you're fantastic. not going to be getting. Uh, uh, listen, um, I think McDonald's gave up on meat a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, they're just now. Admitting it, right? It's just now that now it's like, okay, we've got this new market. Well, listen, I'm gonna have to beg to differ on this point. I am a McDonald's guy, I'm a Big Mac yeah. guy, I am against this plant-based yeah. stuff. If you're going to McDonald's, it's it's meat or bust. For me, it's a Big Mac all the way. I don't I don't like all this other Best stuff. Best thing about McDonald's is the fries, no meat in that anyway, I hope. <laughs> Uh, and so let's just keep it that way. Well, like, I think Burger King did something a while ago, or they, they were coming up with some plant based. I mean, it's just the Impossible Burger, right? right. Is that what they call it? It's I don't even remember. You, you, everybody's got to have their option yeah. everywhere. And Burger King, you want it your way, isn't that their tagline? Yeah. I guess now you can get it your well, way. Well, I just don't Except think, good. I don't think political correctness or anything else it needs to creep into between me and a Big Mac. Yeah. That's how we're I We're going to get a burger. Yeah. Get well, a burger. But not much needs to creep in between you and a Big Mac, right? <laughs> I mean, like, just... Not if you want to be healthy. I know. 
all right. <laughs> all right, let's talk about, uh, so Banksy heading to the bank in a big way. Love is in a bin, famously self-shredding right after being sold three years ago, fetching more than $25 million at Southern, I mean, how insane is that? I think Hunter's yeah. getting some ideas this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't get this. I know if with the 25 million I have sitting around, I am not going to be buying anything yeah. like that. I think there's better investments. But listen, I don't understand a lot of artwork. People look at something and say that's art. I just don't see it. Maybe I'm not cold. I know. Enough. I, I am. I am. I live on the fact that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and mm -hmm. my wife uh, subscribes to that. Thank God. Uh, so listen, I'm going to let people it, think that beauty is in the eye of whatever they're beholding. But mm -hmm. yeah, I wouldn't spend. Kind of money. I, has your wife been to the uh, eye doctor hmm? recently? No. Well, you know, I, I, I try to avoid it. Your wife is stunning. I, 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 no, I, met, is, right? I met your wife. Jenna is gorgeous, and you have beautiful kids. So Yes, uh, she did all the work. She does all the work, and I am a yeah. very blessed man. All right, well, guys, thank you so much. We're going to see you at 8 o'clock. We're going to talk about something that you disagree on. We'll probably try to talk, talk about the financial. Uh, McDonald's? No. no. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I'll have that debate any time with about, you, Seth. We're going to talk about working from home. Right. Is it going away? Is it staying? I think you guys uh, well, disagree. Well, if we're going to stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. on that, right, we'll stay stay on that you're wrong. Uh, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Coming up next, how many people say 